From painting and jewelry making to pottery and photography, artists have a lot of creative outlets. And in our area, one of them has illustrated a book as well. We've got Joanne Benzinger here from Wild Hair Gallery. Thanks Welcome. For me. Thanks for being here. Tell us about your, first of all, maybe your background in art and how you started illustrating. I didn't know that about you. <laughs> a lot of people didn't. Mm -hmm. um, you know, looking back, though, we perhaps should have. I think of myself as a photographer and digital artist. But to be honest, from when the time I was a little child, I could see faces in roses, tree bark, anything. My second grade teacher told me to stop drawing faces on numbers because she couldn't correct my tests. I always assumed that people who are really good drawers, they see things differently than we do. And, and you see an image, you know, you're told this is the book we're writing and you're going to design the look, the feel, the, the, way, this, uh, the way these characters come together. What's your process to do that? Um, well, the, the first thing is getting to know the characters a mm -hmm. little bit, and a, a lot of that had to do with Honey Robinson, who um, wrote this book, Beyond the Horizon, and her just filling me in on some of the vision that she had for the characters in it. And we're looking at that, that right there, the book you illustrated, Beyond the Horizon. Um, you're sharing parts of your process there. So that is the, um, you started with traditional media, which is to say pencil and ink to paper. Um, your character development process just just kind of has you free drawing like that. That must be a great part of the fun. It, it is. Um, one of the characters in the book is actually based on somebody I saw walking through an airport one day. Okay. And all, all there was was hair, nose, and lips. <laughs> and so I had a sketchbook along and so I just drew a couple of things and that, that was my okay. prototype for one of the characters. Pick <laughs> things out as you go. Um, after character development, you said you worked through some, some rough sketches. We've got video of that. Um, that process of the rough sketching, what's happening there? Yeah, so when Honey approached me about writing the book, she told me one of the criteria was that the uh, grandchildren in the book, their ages couldn't add up to more than grandma's age. And uh -huh. so I started laying out, okay, five to eight grandchildren, how old can they be and what would those kids be doing? Okay, very cool. Yeah. And so there they are gathered around and then the, uh, the next step in your process after you've done all that is you, you're starting to digitize, you're starting to add color, really bring this to life. What does that entail? Right, so it, originally I didn't know if I would watercolor it or mm -hmm. if I would go digital. And so I scanned all of the yeah. ink drawings into my computer and I brought it into Procreate uh -huh. for my iPad. And I actually redrew it and then used the various paint brushes there in order to color it. Um, it was wonderful being able to use the various brushes in that program and something like that or Adobe Photoshop is just an asset. The way the tools have progressed, you got to think as an artist, you, you can do anything. Oh, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's fun to start here on set. We've got pencil and paper to kind of start our own illustration and, and you've got something underway. What can we, what can we learn? What can we yeah, do? so um, I decided we're going to do a peacock based on a picture that I have. I brought in a peacock feather for reference. You can see what they actually look like. Uh -huh. Basically, I'm looking at the picture and I'm breaking it down into shapes. And so I have already done this one here and given him some basic shape. I've re-sketched it over here and I started the inking process. Okay. Um, and when I do the inking, I'm able to make some minor adjustments along the way. So all we're going to do here, and I start from left to right because I'm left-handed. I mm -hmm. don't want to smush the, Absolutely. the ink. Absolutely. So I would just come down here and I would start drawing in this line here. And then <laughs> I like a double thickness, so I'm just going to come in here. And when you do this, are you all concentrating all the time? Do you have some music going? Um, how do you how do you go through when you're when you're doing this for uh, oh, an illustration? Yeah, my husband's gonna love this. I like peace and quiet. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm Get really that. focused on my work, and I just that's this is my zone, and this is where I am. I would probably turn this guy upside down because I just need to get at him a little bit better. And it's so one. much better when the pen actually works. Absolutely, that's the part of the thing. Um, talk to me as you keep kind of adding those details. Um, Talk to me a little bit about the book itself and, and what kids learn from this book, how it's put together. So Beyond the Horizon is this really, it's a beautiful story about a grandmother who is approaching the end of her life mm -hmm. and she wants to reassure her grandchildren. And so she gathers them around her and just um, wants them to understand that even though she'll be gone from this world, um, there will be bits of her still available to them mm -hmm. and she'll always be nearby and that there is more beyond the horizon. And there's this, this lesson and, and kids are reassured because it helps them understand this process. It is a just bit. a beautiful great book. way to be able to open up a really 
really difficult conversation. Yeah, and you do that through the story and the art itself. I know you're passionate about bringing these images to life. Um, you've always got fun events too happening at Wild Hair Gallery. We can talk about a few of those because uh, we'll put your book signing information on screen at the very end. But first, you know, what what are the classes coming up you'd want to put on people's radar? All this will be online too. Okay, yeah. Um, so I've got a Procreate um, for iPad class coming mm -hmm. up where we'll be making a mandala. Um, that's a two-week class. I've got a couple of watercolor classes coming up, painting a chickadee and pink, painting a cardinal. Very cool. Yeah. All right. And you, and you just make it approachable and easy. People love taking these classes and just seeing, you know, what, what we can do in a few minutes. Really special. We love it when you bring your talents <laughs> on the show. We appreciate you very much. Thank you so much for having me. Joanne <laughs> Benzinger, we will put that information on screen. Um, Author Honey Robinson, illustrator Joanne Benzinger will be signing copies of that book, Beyond the Horizon. That's going to happen this Thursday from 5 to 7 o'clock at Wild Hair Gallery on North Poinsett Highway in TR. And information on all those classes will be online, and this segment will be on accesscarolina.com.